Hello, my name is Janetta, otherwise known as Prosperous Janetta. Today, I would like to pray over you a prayer of divine health. Uh, we're going to pray together. I'm going to come in agreement with you because we know that God does not desire you to be sick one day of your life. So let us pray. Holy Father, I thank you that we are spiritually and physically born under a better covenant, which is established upon better promises. Because we are your children, we have access and rights to all the divine power that pertains to life and godliness. Because our body is now your property, it is illegal for the enemy to attack us physically or mentally. I pray, Father, that your healing virtue and divine health explode within us physically in this day. Make us a testimony of your goodness and radiate your provision. We take confidence in the fact that what you said you meant. Therefore, Father, we put you in remembrance of your word. You said that by your stripes we are already healed. You said that our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Therefore, it is holy, free of disease, infirmity, impairment, and sickness. We confess and possess divine health in every area of our bodies. You said the power of life and death is in our tongue. So this day, we choose to speak your words of life over our bodies. First of all, Father, we thank you that we have the mind of Christ. Therefore, we choose to put behind us all the past experiences and abuses and present situations that have the ability to produce stress, struggle, strain, and we cast all our cares upon you. We come against any damage or impairment caused by injury, chemical imbalances, or hereditary mental diseases and disorders. We curse migraine headaches, learning disabilities and impairments, timidity, low self-esteem, ADHD, addictions, and perversions that may try to attack our minds. We have a blessed memory, a sound mind, and the God-given ability to discern between good and evil. Father, we thank you for perfect vision that enables us to clearly see even the intricate and minute details. We come against cataracts, glaucoma, detached retinas, blindness, nerve damage, or muscle deterioration. As we continue to age, our eyes shall not dim, nor shall the canals close, nor the fluids dry up. We have 20-20 vision and we see as you see. Hallelujah. Now, Father, we thank you that we hear clearly. We are free from any type of infection or impairment that may cause hearing difficulty and our hearing shall not diminish throughout the years. We thank you that the cilia is present and healthy to protect, produce per, uh, perfect sounds. We come against any infection or disease that may damage our hearing or cause any problem with our equilibrium. We thank you and we hear your voice and the voice of a stranger we will not follow. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you that we have a keen sense of smell. Our sign are clear and we are not affected by allergies colds or congestion in the mighty name of Jesus father we thank you that you give us the ability to deny and resist anything from entering our mouth that will not be beneficial for our body our mouths our teeth gums throat vocal cords tonsils and larynges are complete and whole we speak plainly without stuttering or stammering and we pray that you grant us the boldness that we may speak your word hallelujah in season and out we thank you that you satisfy our mouth with good things so that our youth is renewed as the eagles in the mighty name of Jesus father you said that men's hearts shall fail them because of fear you have not given us the spirit of fear but of love power and a sound mind we come against fear and we command faith to rise up within us. We confess that our heart is strong without any abnormality or defect. We confess that our cardiovascular and circulatory systems are perfected. Each heart lobe and valve function in precision with one another as blood is pumped throughout our bodies without any kind of obstruction. We thank you for heavenly hearts. We thank you right now for a heart transplant. We thank you that our heartbeat and rhythm is regular and strong and our blood pressure shall remain remain normal all the day long no matter what we are confronted with our veins and arteries are clear of obstruction and restriction in the mighty name of Jesus now father we pray for each blood cells nucleus which is the brain of each individual cell that takes on the mind of Christ ha we declare that we have the perfect amount shape and size and white blood cells leukocytes God to help fight off germs and disease red blood cells 
to transport oxygen and iron and the 12 clotting factors and platelets to prevent blood bleeding disorders. We command each perfected cell to continually reproduce and any abnormal, abnormal cancerous cell to cease from multiplying. We come against breast cancer, lung cancer, any type of cancer right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And we command every cell that does not promote life and health in our bodies to be cut off from its life source and be canceled at the root right now. In the name of Jesus, we curse it at the root. We come against every, every life force of cancer, anemia, leukemia, sickle cell, uh, AIDS, etc. We come against any lymphatic disease, tumor. We command it to dry up now and wither in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you that our lungs are healthy. Thank you, God, that we declare and decree that the gas and oxygen exchange is balanced. We have no obstruction or restriction. The bronchi and airways are free of all disease and restriction. We come against congestion, asthma, pneumonia, tuberculosis, emphysema, and colds that may try to affect our breathing. You said, Father, that everything, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. So this day, we choose to take every opportunity to praise your holy and magnificent name. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you that our disease, digestive system and endocrine system are perfected because we pray over our food you sanctify it and you make it nourishment for our body you provide the necessary enzymes and chemicals to break down the foods into the proper sugars which causes our body to remain healthy we come against ulcers eating disorders gluttony obesity high cholesterol diabetes hypoglycemia food allergies and granular disorders my our intestines are free of instruction and restrictions and our metabolism shall not diminish as we age our lymphatic system uh, our liver, pancreas, stomach, kidneys, bowels, gallbladder, and intestines functions perfectly. Our reproductive system is blessed of the Lord. Hallelujah. We come against all manner of diseases, infertility, inabilities, or abnormalities. We come against every curse against some people of for fruit of the womb right now. And we speak to it and we say it shall not go forth. And we speak to our pituitary glands causing us to mature and develop according to our age without producing any Ill, Ill effects of aging. And Father, we thank you for the ability to keep ourselves pure and wholesome for you, God. And we thank you, God, that our nervous system functions perfectly. As our brain sends messages to the different nerves nerves, muscles, and organs, we thank you that the proper responses occur. I come against every nerve and muscular disease right now in the name of Jesus, every atrophy. We thank you that our muscles are strong and toned. I come against every kind of edema, swelling and pain and muscle ligaments, tendons, and joints. And Father, I thank you that our bones are healthy and strong. I come against the lack of calcium. And I command all our bones to be straight, hallelujah, and strong, even as we continue to age, our back is straight, and each vertebra is, pr is in proper alignment right now, hallelujah. Healthy bone marrow, we command, and it continues to reproduce because we depart from evil and reverence you, God, according to Proverbs 3 and 8. And we come against injuries, hereditary diseases, and generational curses that may cause paralysis, slip discs, and deteriorating bones. We declare this day that we are prepared for the work that you have assigned us to do and we say give us that mountain our vitality strength and energy will not decrease in the mighty name of Jesus father I thank you that our appearance brings us brings us pleasure and not embarrassment that our skin is clear and smooth hallelujah we come against scarring and birthmarks that may appear to mar our skin we come against rashes and fiber fibrotic diseases our health is it, our hair is healthy and shiny and it continues to grow in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against thinning of the hair and baldness, whether it is caused by chemical imbalances, uh, chemotherapy, whatever it may be the cause, hereditary, hereditary or disease, we come against it, God. And we think that our hair is growing fully, God. No baldness in the mighty name of Jesus and no gray in the mighty name of Jesus. If we don't desire to be gray, we come against it now. This day, Father, we overcome disease, illnesses, and injury by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony we are physically prepared and equipped to continue the work that you have prepared for us by the word of your power we thank you that you shall fulfill the days of our life and make us perfect in every good work according to hebrews 13 21 because it is your wish that we prosper and be in health and that also that we are confident that you have heard our prayers and granted our petition according to first john and we believe your report and therefore we enter your blessing and our inheritance that you 
give all that we will give you all the glory ha and we declare that you are lord the god of all flesh we know that nothing absolutely nothing is too hard for you in jesus name i pray amen